Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Nearest Academy. So guys, today's video is very different and in this video we are going to learn about the QAP Quality Assurance Plan. What is QAP? What is the purpose of QAP and why we manufacture uh, our material as per the QAP? What are the benefits of the QAP? So guys, over here in this video we are going to learn all these parameters. So guys, if you're new to my educational channel, Engineers Academy, you can click on the subscribe button, that red one, yeah, exactly that is. And you can click uh, the bell icon beside it. Uh, you just uh, get the notification, that the frequent notifications of my uh, educational channel. So guys, uh, let's begin with today's topic, that is nothing but the, the quality assurance plan, the QAP, that is the topic over here in this video, we are going to learn the QAP. So without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the Quality Assurance Plan QAP. So guys, in any manufacturing industry, you must have heard about the word QAP that is nothing but the Quality Assurance Plan. When we manufacture a certain product and how can we confirm the quality of the particular product the, that it has to be the quality is the nothing but the standard to measure the satisfaction of the customer or as the satisfaction to the need of actual requirement of the customer so guys the like there is a no particular like we cannot like measure the quality but we can define the quality so guys how can we define it we can like say that it is the you know it is the like the satisfaction level of the customer or as it, it, it can be the like the satisfaction level to the actual uh, requirement like how does it satisfy the requirement of the customer so basically when a particular product gets manufactured in a factory like it has to it has to complete a series of operations on in order to uh, get the final finished good or else the final product which is ready to go towards the client's factory and which is ready to install at client's uh, place so guys that particular process can be called as the process plan or else we can call it as the manufacturing processes or else we can call it as the flow chart which is used in ISO documentation so basically over here the QAP is the further like the more uh, like the advanced advanced uh, is the advancement of that particular process plan or as the flow chart in flow chart we only get the series of operations but over here in QAP we'll get a series of operations along with its quality and how can we uh, like the how can we like confirm that particular operations whether that particular operation is justified or not whether that particular operation is justified or not so like suppose i manufacture a particular equipment which uh, which has to gone through the series of operations such as after welding it has like a, a, after welding finishing is there painting is there or else uh, uh, buffing and uh, like the laser cutting or else other like uh, manufacturing processes so how can we confirm that your actual manufacturing process is you know is the standard one and this particular manufacturing process is like it follows the QAP so the first of all while manufacturing a particular product like uh, they manufacture the process plan they manufacture the QAP and uh, beside that particular each and every uh, like uh, the process beside each and every manufacturing process they measure the quality or as the critical parameters which has to comply in order to get the actual predetermined quality level so this is nothing but the quality plan so this particular quality plan consists of each and every minute detail which is going to help in that particular which is going to help in that particular uh, manufacturing plan so guys over here you can see that this is the example of the quality assurance plan so over here these are the series of the processes you can see over here these are the you know these are the critical parameters over here suppose the feed speed and depth of cut or as the 
and these are the you know the, uh, these are the other requirements you can see over here so guys in qap we got the series of operations along with its critical parameters such as while doing welding operation what is the like what will be the size of the, your fillet weld or else what will be the your filler material is used what is the type of the welding these are all like uh, these are all detailed information is there into uh, beside each and every process in the QAP. Along with that, this particular QAP is used in a third party inspection. So when we offer a finished good or finished product to the inspection, to the client, for to the client. So when we offer our finished good for inspection to the client, so the client uh, will come at your place and will check the all the necessary uh, your product your fi final finish good your product as per your qap so the qap is a documentation part which helps a particular quality inspector to check that particular part as per the uh, desired process plan as per the quality assurance plan so that over so that guys over here in this case the third party inspector will assure the quality of the process as per the quality assurance plan so this particular qap helps in third party inspections as well this particular qap also standardize the each and every manufacturing process and this particular qap will give you the detailed information about all the critical parameters which is used in the manufacturing processes in case of the facing turning drilling reaming all the in-house manufacturing processes it will give you the give you the information like what will be the speed speed and the depth of cut what what is the tool which is used what are the spe special uh, purpose like equipments or as, uh, what are the jigs fixtures which is used during this particular process so it will give you information it will give you the detailed information regarding all the processes also guys in the third party inspection like it will also offer the like the uh, visual inspection or the witnessed or the test certificate Suppose I'm having uh, the material which is used as a grade having SS316. Suppose I'm having the flanges of SS316. So guys, these flanges are like if we manufacture in-house, then we must obtain the raw material certificate that is MTC 2.1 or MTC 3.1 in order to satisfy the need of the customer, in order to clarify, in order to comply to the uh, third party inspection uh, criteria so basically the MTC also like it is a part of the documentation it means your material should be traceable like uh, the raw material certificates should be traceable or else the, if we uh, manufacture that particular part so we have to comply with the uh, raw material test certificates so, and that particular certificate is it also it also it, it should traceable and in that particular certificates all the like the necessary requirements all the necessary technical parameter such as the like uh, uh, it's the physical properties it's uh, chemical properties it's mechanical properties like it's tensile strength yield strength so all these parameters needs to be reflected in that particular mtc so that you know so that the third party inspector will clarify give you this uh, uh, like the and he will give you the clearance to the dispatch that particular finish good towards the client. So also guys, this particular QAP helps us uh, like uh, this particular desired uh, like the process gets standardized over here with the help of this particular QAP. So guys, this is nothing but the like the detailed information about the quality assurance plan QAP. So guys, if I miss any of the points in this video. You can comment it below and guys please do subscribe to my educational channel Engineers Academy. So guys thank you so much for watching this video guys.